Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Your Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 full screen is not working when you're trying to launch the game and how we can fix it. Also, I'll be providing a link in the description so you can move to this article and you can read on our website get droid tips and on this article as well as on many other topics like android games iphones and ipad social media etc so let me directly get into the point without wasting the time so first one is you just have to run the game as an administrator for that you just have to go in the two way that means either you have to go to where the game is installed right so you should be knowing the where the game is installed if it is on local list you should not you should be knowing the path so I'll show you that. So because I know where the game is installed actually. So this is not a big deal. You just have to open local disk C. And if it is in any other disk, you have to open the respective one. But here I have installed on C. So I'll open this. I'll click on program files 86. Now I just go to Steam. I'll go to Steam apps. Common. Call of Duty HQ. Now I just have to scroll down. So that I'll be able to find this particular .exe file so I have to select it I have to right click I'm having an option run it as an administrator so click on that so that the game will be opening and it will be running it as an administrator so this is the first one and also you can directly navigate to the file even from here itself which is called over there that is called steam okay you can go to steam steam also so I'll open the steam so that is also possible but if you are going to the steam then it is quite easy like you can uh, go in that way itself that uh, it is quite easy because from the steam you can directly get the file where it is actually installed so uh, you just have to go to the steam and also you can do in that way that is also fine so uh, there are two methods actually if you wanted to find where the game is installed you can do one, one in this way and another one is you just have to open the steam and go to library then go to call of duty then just right click and go to properties go to local files and just click on browse so what happens is you will be redirected to a folder where the game is installed as you can see this is the path which we navigated via this pc i may lock uh, my computer but this you have directly taken to this this is also fine this is also one of the method which you can try out move to the next one what you have to do is you just have to close the background training task so uh, it is quite important that you are having an issue with the game is not loading or it is the screen is flickering or you are having an ex bad experience on something launching so that is already depending on the task manager because you know many things will be running in the background so it is very important to make sure that no big things is running in the background only the wanted things not unwanted things so for that you just have to click on the start just go over here in the task manager and make sure that it is running only the wanted things for example if you check in my case it is adobe premium pro it is google chrome and the screen recorder and the voice recorder and the steam pet so in your case this will not be the same we'll be having many overlays like you know uh, discord many other things nvidia graphics and all those things so you have to end it up and you have to make sure that only the necessary things are running in the background and you just have to launch the game going to the steam and most probably that will be working even after trying if it's still not working the next is all about you have to update the cod that means call of duty modern warfare 2 as you can see if you go to the steam here there is no update option but in some cases if any updates are there they will be there so that you just have to click here and also make sure that you made this settings or changes in the steam that you have to select the game go to properties and click on the update and always under the update always keep this game updated that is very important or else you'll be missing some of the updates and you'll not be in the latest version so you'll be having a lot of bug so and also we are having some additional offers i mean options like always keep this game updated only update this game when i launch it and high priority always auto update this game before others so keep this always keep this game updated that is very important right this is what you have to do and once it is done if you're getting the update you can do the update and make sure it is on the latest version right now this is on the latest update so that is fine and also you have to go for the next one that is called verify and repair and verify game files as i said earlier in the steam the verify and repair files is actually 
a solution to many problems like you know if any files are corrupted they will be fixing it and if any files are missing it will be fixing from their backend so you have to go to the call of duty modern fire 2 you just have to right click and go to properties now go to local files and click on verify integrity of game file so what happens is this will take a bit of time so here all the files of the game that you downloaded will be checked once again if they are missing anything and if any files are corrupted this will be find or uh, making the, solving the issue from their end so this is actually one of the main fix for many of the users and you should not be skipping this step this is very important so keep a habit of doing this verify integrity of game file this is actually a fix for many of the issue so i'm suggesting you guys that you can do this sir so we move to the next one and also you have to wait until it get completed to 100 percentage so this is it will take a little bit of time so let's move to the next one that is all about you have to update your drivers so sometimes for many of the users right now they are having an issue with the driver that means uh, very recently an update came out for the nvidia users which is called 256 something 0.47 which is causing many issues for crashing the game including call of duty so what you have to do is you just have to make sure that the graphic drive are up to date so you can do it in two way either you can do from here itself via device manager and another one is you can do it with uh, this one called uh, you can update it manually so what you have to do is just click on the start go to device manager now from here as you can see you have to click on display adapters and as you can see just right click and go for update driver now this is up to date right so there is no issue with that simultaneously if you go to uh, nvidia you can you can you can update it you can click over here and you can update it via also like this we have to give all the details geforce rtx if it is gtx just give the gtx details and all those things and you have to click on windows 11 if it is 11 just go for search and you have to update the latest version so like i said earlier the window uh, 526.47 is actually causing a lot of problem for many of the users so if you are on this if you try download and install and after that if you are having the trouble on crashing many other issues it is right now happening for many of the users and if you are having this issue just roll it back we can do this you can downgrade it so you just have to download and install it after updating this to 527 you are having the issue with the uh, launchings and any other crashing issue just downgrade it and if you don't know you just go over here go to device manager just go to display adapters select this one right click and go to properties go to driver and there is an option called rollback right now the driver version is this one right if you wanted to roll it back to the previous one just click on the rollback driver if your existing latest driver is making the messy just go to this this is very important and when it is done you just have to go back and you have to see what is or what you have to do last one is all about you have to disable the antivirus protection like i said earlier if you go over here on the settings we can go to privacy and security go to windows security and over here on virus and threat protection just click on this one and over here on the manage ransomware make sure this is turned off here a little bit of time i mean yesterday and even yesterday i just made this turned off and i have made the call of duty to this particular folder access but i have completely turned this off and because this is making a lot of messy so i have completely turned off the antivirus and this is what you have to do so these are the possible workarounds which you have to do when you're having call of duty modern wire warfare 2 full screen is not working and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye